Hi, in this video I'll explain how to use the const keyword with pointers in the C programming language. I'll also do a live coding example. So uh, let's get started. There are three ways in which we can use the const keyword along with pointers. If we want to create a constant pointer, we have to place the const keyword after the asterisk symbol. The value at which the pointer p points to can be changed, but the address at which it points to cannot be changed. On the other hand, if we want to create a pointer to a constant, we have to place the const keyword before the asterisk symbol. The value at which the pointer p points to cannot be changed, but the address at which it points to can be changed. We can also combine these first two cases to create a constant pointer to a constant. Here we have to place two const keywords, one before the asterisk symbol and one after the asterisk symbol. In this case, both the value and the address at which the pointer p points to cannot be changed. An easy way to know what kind of a pointer is created is by reading the code from right to left. So, in the first case, p is a constant pointer to an integer. In the second case, p is a pointer to an integer constant. And finally in the third case p is a constant pointer to an integer constant. Now uh, let's jump into an example. I'll create an integer variable called x and assign it some value. Next I'll create a basic integer pointer called p and initialize it with the address of our variable x. Down below, let's increment the value that our pointer p points to. And also let's increment the address that our pointer p points to. Let's try to compile our program to see if we get any errors. The compilation was successful and we got an exe file. This is expected since we created a basic pointer and of course we can change both the address and the value. If we transform this basic pointer to a constant pointer, we will be unable to change the address of our pointer and this is indicated with this red squiggly line and also we get the appropriate error. Also by transforming this constant pointer to a pointer to an integer constant, we are unable to change the value. Again we get the red squiggly line and the appropriate error. Next, we can create a constant pointer to an integer constant. And, of course, we get two red squiggly lines, because we cannot change the address nor the value. And again, we get the appropriate errors. Okay, so that's all I had for this video. Please like it if you found it useful. Comment if you have any questions and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching.